my loves. Welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Body Life Apothecary, professional tarot, astrologer, and intuitive. As you can tell by the title in today's video, we are going to be doing a pick a card reading and we are going to be diving into spirit led messages, messages that you need to hear right now. Allow yourself to be guided towards the crystal or the pile that resonates with you most. And I will meet you at your timestamps, which will be linked down below. But let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, my love, so if you chose this crystal or this pile this is your message i'm going to you know what i actually feel called to work with the pre-raphaelette deck so let's go ahead and see what's coming through for you this week So we have the Temperance card, we have Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, and this card definitely wants to jump out, Six of Cups. All right, so first things first, what's standing out to me, I just heard um, the word prevail. Um, I'm also hearing the message, uh, there feels like there's a lot on the line. I can't tell if this is someone putting pressure on you or you putting pressure on yourself. As I am saying, there's a lot on the line. It's I'm getting spirit um, coming through being like, can you focus? <laughs> it's not irritable, but how it kind of comes through is kind of irritable. And the message is like, we need you to focus. What exactly are you paying attention to? Interestingly enough, because Seven of Swords is the card of things kind of sneaking past you and slipping through your fingers. Maybe you're trying to sneak away, someone else is trying to sneak away, and Seven of Pentacles is the card of observing and watching where you're at in order to decide, decode, decipher where you want to go, what is that you're doing, and temperance is very, I don't know why I just heard casualty with this word. So it's very intentional as far as what you are putting in because it feels like there's a lot on the line and that's connecting me to the word casualty. So I don't want to freak anybody else, I don't want to freak anybody out because that's not the intention of me and that's not my messages that's that's not how i that's not how i vibe but when i see casualty and i'm hearing the word casualty i feel the importance the magnitude of being very cognizant being very aware of what it is that you are paying attention to the details that you're paying attention to and i'm getting spirit gearing i was going to say turning but spirit is saying gearing so they want to turn your head so that you actually are paying attention to the right things as i'm saying that i don't know if you can see this but there's a woman whose head is actually turned to look towards what everyone else is looking towards these cups and she seems to be looking at something different so i actually feel as though there's this caution that is coming from you right now and it feels as though you are looking for warning signs you are looking for pitfalls but you are also looking towards the past i just posted a message on my instagram about muscle memory and it's the our our instinctual reaction to things that have happened to us in the past in order to protect us in the present but what you don't want to do is take those past experiences and the reaction that is that you have when you see certain signs that you think are going to set you off or you think are triggers and allow them to be the building blocks of your future spirit is really calling you to be very observant and to connect to the vision of your highest vision you guys your highest vision not just this lower vibrational it's like you're getting distracted by what other people are doing what other people are saying what's going on over here what does this mean how does this all relate does this all relate does it all make sense and spirit is like can you please pay attention to your highest vision that we gave you if you are spending so much time concentrating on what she's saying what he's saying what he's doing what they're doing are they talking about me behind my back you just need to ask yourself, is this a vibrational match? Is you engaging with them or are you engaging with this? Or are you concentrating on doing whatever it is that you got going on on the side? 
does it match this higher rate vibration that spirit is has led you to and seven the number seven and i teach this in the sacred circle tarot school which is my online school that i've created to help students who are very dedicated and committed to studying esoteric symbolism that's fine found within tarot and also the astrology so the cycles of life i teach them of the power of the number seven it's very divine it's that pause to help you to to surrender to spirit to surrender to your path and to connect back with your path but you can't do that with the six of cups trying to go to the past and complete past cycles i don't know why but i'm getting this this like cycle cycle of events spirit is almost agitated with this pile no offense but spirit is almost agitated with your inability to rise up into your power to rise up into this vision again they, they keep wanting to usher in this idea of we gave this vision to you and it's so giving it to you we trusted you to make the right decisions to be courageous and to take those steps forward but when you are engaging in things it's not just people either you guys this is very it's energy that is that we're working with so it could be um, foods that are not a part of the greater vision it's people that could be not a part of the greater vision activities events things that you are intertwining yourself with like inter entertaining that spirit is like can you sneak out of that? Get on out of that. You know, you're really, and some of you guys, it's, I don't, I just wanted to say, and this is going to feel like a read, but some of you guys want to be quick to be like, well, I'm tired. I feel defeated. And spirit is saying that's a cop out. Spirit is saying, no, you're, it's not that you're tired. It's just the fact that you're, you're starting to get complacent and almost lazy. Um, this is not them wanting to beat you up. It's just them wanting to see you prevail. They want to see you abundant. Wow, okay. Green Terra, the Buddha of enlightened action. My soul informs my every step. I do what my heart compels me to do. So something about the word compels, it's compelling. Something that almost feels addictive. So you want to be very mindful of your addictions. I don't know why. Seven of Swords is standing out to me. You're addicted to finding out um, what it, what's going to happen. Are you cheating on me? Are you lying at, on me? Can I trust this person? You're so addicted to getting to the truth of something that doesn't even shouldn't even factor into this highest vision if you are making moves to your highest vision and focusing on that then and creating that and co-creating that anything that doesn't serve you will not will just naturally fall apart but you're so caught on okay what what's what people say what what what's that what are they doing don't worry about that there's uh the word is um lying is coming through with the seven of swords but it's more like you're not being honest with yourself right now and you're almost saying it's like a scapegoat is what I'm getting like you're finding a way to distract yourself you're finding a way to handicap yourself you're finding a way to hold yourself back when spirit is leading you I am hearing this person is spirit led so look at the very things that it is that you are trying to avoid right now you guys look at the very things that it is that you're trying to avoid because it feels like there's a lot on the line for you to gain if you keep looking backwards, or if you keep looking what other people are doing, you are going to trip yourself up. That's not safe anymore. So there's some things that may be contradicting themselves. There may be some things that are not coming together. I don't know why it's coming to completion is what's coming through, which means that the pieces of, of, of the puzzle don't feel whole, so they feel very disjointed. But you're trying to make sense of the puzzle, and it's like you're why are you engaging in that when you should be focused on um, building this higher vision? Temperance is very intentional about what it allows into its life and what it allows into its cup because the wrong thing can muddle the entire thing. So if you put a wish out there and if you set intention and you are forgetting that while you're creating, what is alchemy? What is it that you're creating right now? It, you're, taking, you're making something out of nothing, good and bad. Meaning that you're taking something, even as I'm looking at this, I'm seeing this sword of truth and willpower into the stump that was cut down. So for whatever, like you're focusing on why was the tree cut down, don't worry about it. It was cut down because it, it, was, it was a blockage, it was a challenge, it was a hindrance, it wasn't serving a purpose. 
So you're focusing on that when you should be focusing on dot, 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 you know, fill in the blank. So that's really something that's coming through. Look, love is the reason. You have what it takes. Those you love, love you. So this is really, for me, this is about your highest purpose. Love is the reason. What is it that spirit gave to you? Spirit talks to us through our hearts um, and through our intuition. It's the feelings that is that we feel within our heart that give us the confirmation and it's our intuition that gives us the clarity. So you have this purpose that is that you are striving towards. Spirit is guiding you to say like you do have what it takes. Don't worry about what others are doing. Like even this says those you love, love you. Focus back that energy on you. With the romance angels, we have healing family issues. So again, it's this very... It almost feels like something something triggered you or something distracted you, but I'm also seeing spirit clearly saying, well, she or he gave it permission to do that, which is fine. You're a human being at the end of the day. But we want to break this cycle. We don't want to fall back into our old repeated patterns. We don't want to fall back into old repeated people and things, situations, behaviors, habits that or escaping from actually t telling the truth, speaking the truth, stepping up to our highest potential. We wanna prevail, we wanna do better, we wanna strive for more for ourselves, and then we wanna thrive with more for ourselves. Despair. I need you, divine intercession, right now, O oh Great Spirit. Lift this darkness from my soul, free me from this burden, open me to your highest plan. May I be a peaceful vessel for vessel for your love so right away this is showing me that this something got you something got you it tricked tripped you up and tricked you initially your dark shadow side that's coming through right now is uh, it's honesty it's the inability to be honest and others not being honest with you don't allow that to trip you up how let that fall where it falls allow like allow that message just now to fall where it falls. Some of you guys are going to hear that and be like, well, I need to know the truth. You don't need to know anything other than what spirit tells you. Real rap raw. Um, and spirit, I just heard spirit led you here. So spirit led you here. If you know something is off within yourself or within others, address, address the fact that it's not a vibrational match and something needs to change. You don't need to figure out why the oil and the vinegar don't come together. You just need to know that it's not coming together. It's not working. And that you have this higher vision. You're creating despair for yourself and dysfunction for yourself trying to figure out the pieces when the reality is, is that you are using that to avoid the fact that you should be stepping into your purpose. You should be stepping into your highest light, your highest vibration, and not worried about why it isn't happening. Why? Don't worry about what they're doing. Don't worry about what they're up to or why you know they're taking too long to respond to your messages. Oh, someone needed to hear that. Look, balance, work, rest, and play. It's important for you to have fun along with fulfilling your responsibilities. So obviously, you have a lot that is that you're trying to create right now and spirit is doing the best that it can. I just heard that we're trying to reach you but you're, again, you're avoiding talking to us because if we if you talk to us we would hold you accountable. So spirits like come back to whatever it is that you are avoiding, sit with it, observe it, address it, attack it meaning like your highest purpose don't worry about the trivial okay let your inner beauty shine pink rose you are a brilliant example of god's love everything about you is perfect so let your light shine and inspire others that's what i'm saying don't look towards other people they're not even they're mingling in themselves you have a higher purpose in fact you almost the things that is that's distracting you you almost Spirit is like, you know, we kind of did put in some distractions or some signs to remind you. And as soon as you see it, you're like, oh my God, that's right. Like, I can't keep avoiding this. I can't keep putting this off because this is something I have to take care of. This is the week for you to take care of whatever that thing is. This is the week for you to, the whole world may be focusing on this area, but somehow, for some reason, some way, Spirit is saying, focus on here because this is where the massive major transformation is happening within your life. Don't worry about what others are doing. Look, truth and integrity reversed. So this is exactly what I'm saying, is that your shadow side right now is in your inability to, someone, like your inability to be honest with yourself and or you allowing someone's inability to be honest with you to trip you up to the point where you're 
actions and your intentions are no longer of integrity. That means that they're not a vibrational match for you. It's not a mix. It's not working. And instead of you being like, hey, this isn't what I should be doing or this isn't where I should be, you're almost being like, okay, I'll allow it. But that means that you're no longer in integrity. So find the right match. Okay, so children and body care. Some of you guys, this is, could be very clear precise message that someone is that needs they need to receive why isn't he doing this for the children or this I should be doing this for the children or I should be doing this and it's like literally focus on the present bring it all back into you how does it energetically make you feel um, some of you guys are actual providers taking you have a lot of responsibility on your shoulders and if that's the case remember what is that you're called to do let's say you are so concerned with taking care of children or taking care of others that you're neglecting yourself and spirit is saying remember that time when i told you i gave you that vision for yourself despite the fact that you have all these obstacles these obligations and challenges we are going to give you the the tools and the resources in order to co-create this highest vision of your life because you're um, your legacy doesn't end or stop with your children. And if it's not children, it's a it's something that you are creating. It's fifth house matters. So play, projects, um, business development, um, hobbies, joy, your dating life, those things that is that you're creating that are young, budding, building, and need your attention. All right? So I hope this message makes sense and resonates, my love. Make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. All right, my loves, if you chose this pile, the opalite egg, this is your message. So it's so interesting because before I was even getting started, when I was shuffling your cards, I kept seeing this little gnat and the gnat to me represents something that is plaguing you, something that is biting you, annoying you. In fact, I heard it keeps biting me, like it keeps bothering me, it keeps biting me. Um, <clears throat> and as I'm looking at your cards now, we have the devil card, so there's something majorly annoying you, bothering you. Six of Swords, the energy of trying to move forward, <laughs> the Chariot, so the intention to move forward, and the Eight of Pentacles working on moving forward. Then we have Queen of Swords, Ace of Cups, Ten of Swords, and the, and the Magician card. So right away, I want to go ahead and dive in. So Queen of Swords is very independent. She's very self-serving. She is not going to sacrifice uh, any longer is what it is that I'm hearing. Um, she is saying and speaking really clearly, louder than any of the other cards within this reading, and she's saying, I'm, <clears throat> I'm trying to move forward. I have no time to engage myself in things that feel like obligations. I have a path, I have a truth, I have a purpose, I have a destiny, and it is my desire, my highest desire, in order to attain this goal, in order to achieve this higher goal. This, even though the Queen of Swords is not connected to emotions, she doesn't need to be. She, your goal could be connected to your emotions, your your dreams, your wishes, and those types of things. Um, however, there's a, a firmness, a sternness that needs to come through. And I'm hearing the word with the Queen of Swords right now, individual. I need, this pile needs to define themselves as an, as an individual. In fact, I'm seeing you create a recipe. That's what I'm actually just heard is a recipe. This is what makes me me. Just like how you would make a recipe with a cake, you know, this is a cake. Okay, well, what creates the cake? Well, we have flour, we have milk, we have eggs, we have sugar, we have icing, we have sprinkles, whatever it is that makes a cake. What is it that makes you, that defines you? A cake isn't a pie. There's a distinguish, there's a distinction between a pie and a cake. A cake isn't a sandwich. There's a distinguish, there's a something that distinguishes a sandwich from a cake. So what is it that makes you, you? What makes you stand out? What makes you an individual? Anything that isn't a part of this, these defining components of you 
doesn't really factor in. That means that if you, I don't know why I'm hearing on brand. So you could be building a brand, you could be building a lifestyle. Anything that doesn't match, match this intention doesn't, what is that you are actively creating you guys. Um, if it doesn't match that, it doesn't have, serve a purpose right now. You need to, I'm just hearing individual. This is what makes me an individual. I feel as though spirit, this group is really being called to, to, to unleash themselves and to brand themselves and to market themselves. So this could be very business focused, obviously, especially with the eight of pentacles here. But it could be if you are branching into a new life, a new stage within your life, then you're saying goodbye to the old you and you're stepping into this new person who's on brand. You are still the authentic version of yourself, especially with the Ace of Cups here. This card um, is connected to love and things that is that we care about that are close to our heart. but. This card right now stands out to me as the word authenticity. So it's honoring your authenticity, honoring your feelings, honoring the vision, honoring what, it, what it, you are creating right now that you're manifesting, especially with the magician card. If it doesn't fit in, in into you as the queen of swords, your ultimate plan, then it doesn't, it doesn't, it's, it's, I don't know why I just heard it's not, it doesn't go into the egg. I don't know what that means, but it's not a part of the egg. Like it's not, especially with the opalite egg here, it's not going to help the egg hatch. It's not going to help this to grow. And as I'm looking at that, we have this little dove in the corner. So I don't know. I just feel like something is very precious to this group right now. Something is very precious that you are creating, that you're building. Even as I'm saying this, Ten of Swords, again, this is showing me that you are legit moving away from an old cycle in your life that you have literally ended with the Devil card. And it's also showing me the battle, the push-pull, especially with the Chariot card. I teach this in the Sacred Circle, the symbolism of the Chariot and the two dualities here, the two um, extremes. And really, it's about coming into your power, coming into your strength, regardless of these challenges, these really incredible strong challenges that have presented to you and it's your willpower, it's your heart, it's your vulnerability, it's your individuality that's going to help you to become successful. Okay, um, so your card is Sappho the Poetess. I love every inch of my body and I love the women in my life fiercely. So I love this because this is showing me again what makes you an individual and also how you're connected to others. So you being an individual and you loving all of you and all that makes you different and all that defines you gives makes you a gift and a blessing for other people. And those women, those people, those things, they are them, they're making their own, they're breaking ground in their own way. So there's no comparison here. So there really is this, like I said, it's this, um, um, defining, you know, you at you as an individual. I'm really seeing this hyper focus on, you know, you may have love, relationships, family obligations, connections, whatever, that are waiting for your waiting for you to show up. But at the same time, your commitment to the relationship and your commitment to whatever that responsibility is, isn't the only single thing that defines you. It almost reminds me of pile number one. So, okay, create space for new love. Wow. No two flowers are the same, yet all are beautiful in their own way. So this goes back, right back into what I was, I was saying with the word individual. Like this is just so perfect. And also the create space for new love. This is showing me again with the 10 of swords, with the six of swords with the devil card, with the chariot card. Your intention is to move forward. You are creating space. Emphasis on the word create, because that's with the magician card. You are co-creating, you're manifesting, you're setting intention for this new vision, for this new love, this higher purpose, this higher vision, this this next level thing. And let's say that this is about romance and love because there is a strong connection to the other. There is a strong connection to another person that's coming through. So let's say there is this new person, this new thing that wants to enter into your life. You know, you have to be very like, 
you have to be on brand with what it is that you expect, with what it is that you require, with what it is that you want. If you say that you're a goddess, you have to treat yourself like a goddess and expect nothing less than goddess level treatment. That is on brand with you at this stage in your life. It doesn't matter where the hell you came from. It doesn't matter what you've accepted in the past before. You are now purified of that, made new and, you know, brand like on brand again in this new marketing, this new thing, this new appearance. Don't worry about those that you will lose. This card literally says if they loved you once, they love you, they still do. If they once loved you, they still do. Those who care about you, they will come with you, they will come along, but your your goal and your responsibility is not to make other people like you. Do you like you? And it's very much about individual, bringing it back into you. Do you like what you are creating? Do you like what you are, your nest egg? Do you like what you're harvesting? Do you like what you have in your hand? Because it is brilliant. It is brilliantly created. And your intention and your purpose right now is to co-create and to manifest and to set intention, to step into your power, own your truth, and continue to be an individual, not comparing yourself to others. What's making her successful? What makes him love so much? What does, what's with their relationship? What's with your relationship? What are you creating? Why do people love you? Why do you love yourself? Hyper focus on those things because the queen of swords is not entertaining anything other than what makes her feel vibrant, That what makes her an individual, what makes her unique, her gifts, her talents, her strengths, what fills her purpose. If you are committed to you, then stay committed to you. It's very much about you. All right, let's see what's going on with the children. Oh my goodness, this pile and pile number one, I wouldn't be surprised if you guys were caught between those two because, whew. okay, so children. Again, this is fifth house matters or an actual child. So what you are creating, what you love, what feels good for you, your self-worth, your self-value, your businesses, your projects, your hobbies, turning and investing them, investing in them even more. What makes you happy? What makes you fulfilled? What gives you joy and pleasure? Give more of your time and attention to that. And something about this egg, it's about protecting it. Your shadow side that is coming through with the devil card here is the fact that sometimes you just don't, you want to be understood. You want the people that you love to listen to you and to understand you and that to you that's how you equate to being loved but the thing is that not everyone's going to understand where you're coming from that and everyone's going to understand what you're saying not everyone's going to understand your path or your purpose but are you going to allow that to stop you because you understand it and if you understand that why do you why do you need to waste time trying to convince others you don't i want to put these cards away and I want to continue to move on. Look, oh my gosh, I couldn't make this up even if I tried. Independence. That's literally what I've been saying. Independence is just another word for individual. Let me read this to you. The more you learn to feed yourself on the inside and care for the inner child, the more freestanding you become. Help me feed and love this inner child, dear Lord. And then divine timing. This shows me that everything comes in its own divine timing. The divine brings things in the timing that we need. Nothing comes before we're prepared nor leaves too early. May I always trust your perfect and holy timing, dear Lord. So that is just way too perfect. Next few cards, wow. Wow, open your arms to receiving. So I don't know why, but this egg keeps coming through and I see some, I, as I'm seeing this, I'm seeing it being dropped into your hand. Some of you guys have a very precious egg that's about to drop into your hands, but you can't open your hand up to receive it if you're so hyper-focused on trying to convince other people of what you, need, you know you need to do. If you're so convinced that you know, if you're so concentrating on, this is why I need to open my hand up, come with me, like, the, my timing is now, like, I feel, and it's like, someone's like, well, how do you know? Like, you don't need, you're wasting time explaining yourself when you need to just do what you gotta do, open your hand up and receive. Meanwhile, shield yourself. Shield yourself from the opinions of others, but also shield yourself from the opinions that you have of yourself. Some of these lower vibrational energies are coming through, you guys. That's what I can see. Some of these lower vibrational inner childhood wounds are coming through where you need recognition, you need validation, you need confirmation for the truth, the resounding truth that is found within you. You don't need to explain yourself to anyone. You don't need to convince any anyone other than yourself. Focus on you. I'm really scared to see what else is going on here. Wow, freedom. 
Free yourself. My goodness, with the devil card here too. Wow, I can't. Freedom, independence, self-sufficiency, standing on your own two feet, asking for help, receiving help. It's not just you doing it all the time. Divine guidance, that goes perfectly along with divine timing, divinely guided, divinely interven divine intervention, divinely ordained, and also answered prayers. If you've been saying, you know, speaking prayers, setting intention, and it's coming through right now, then again, you gotta focus on your intention. You have so many cards here that were concentrating on your intention. I don't know where they went, but they were here. You had the Magician card, you have the Chariot card, you have Ace of Cups, so there's something really fragile and important in it that you are working to co-create. So focus on that. Focus on being an individual. Don't compare yourself to others. Don't check in with other people. Spirit, if you chose this egg right now, Spirit is trying to give a, a very beautiful blessing. It already has. They, I feel as though they've already given it to you. It's just you you know, tending to that, taking care of it, and manifesting it, revealing it even further. So that's the message for those of you guys that chose this pile. I hope it mes um, resonated and makes sense. Make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Okay, my loves, if you chose this pile, this little crystal, or this pile, this is your message. Well, that just jumped right out. A lot of cards jumped right out. Let me see what's going on here. Okay, right, cool. Let me put them back in. Oh my gosh. Let me get a general gist of what just jumped out. Okay. Okay, so the first word that's coming through is resistance and hesitancy. Um, also, sacrifice is something that's coming through, the word sacrifice. I'm also hearing, um, are, you, are you ready? I don't know why that, that's coming through. Are you ready? Where are you at? It's someone who's checking in with others. Um, you're, I, I, cautious is the word, but it's like checking in. Um, I feel as though, you know what it is that I'm getting? I'm getting an energy of someone who's watch. it's like they're mirroring. So they have a partner, they have something that they are working with, interested in building with, and they're picking up on hesitancy, they're picking up on a blockage, and they're trying to check in, and it's making you get weird. Like, it's making your energy get weird. Um, yeah, it's making, it's, this is tapping into, it could really be tapping into your emotions. It's a, per, you genuinely are interested in building with them and working with them and loving them or whatever it is, or nurturing them or supporting them. It could be friends, family, relationship, business partner, whatever. Or this could be another person trying to check in with you, sensing hesitancy and starting to get insecure within themselves or insecure in the connection. I don't know why I'm also getting a connection to luxury, luxurious things. Um, interesting. You have this. This pile has a lot, a lot coming through in the tower card naturally. Um, a lot coming through. I feel as though. This pile has this energy of everything happening all at once as well. Like there's a lot of things happening all at once. Even you might not even recognize it. You might not even realize it because this might actually feel like you're normal. Um, so that's something that is coming through definitely. There's this space right now where spirit is saying, we are trying to lead you into our support. We want you to feel our support. I feel as though I heard humanity. You can't count on humanity. You can't count on others to show up for you or give you the vibration that it is that you expect that you do, do deserve, but you have to be the, that vibration for yourself. You have to be whole and holy. I don't know if that makes sense for, for someone. You don't want to sacrifice, needless sacrifice for something or someone and to the point where it's detrimental to your vibration, to your to your being, 
at the same time, you don't need to abandon ship by watching and observing the fact that others are not meeting you where you stand. There is a very, very dark, I'm seeing someone wearing all black or all white, but it's very all black. So it's protecting your energy. It, and when, you're, when a person is in a spiritual journey where they're wearing all black, it's because they are energetically protecting themselves from absorbing the energy, the mindset, the perspectives of others. So don't, I'm really seeing a, a distinction, a line between them and you and not taking it personally. The, the, pre, their presence really is actually what's coming through. And, and again, at the same time as I'm saying that, you don't have to abandon them in that. So while you're doing that, if that makes any sense. Anything that is cut from you right now or given from you, it doesn't need to feel like a sacrifice. Have Make sure that you are so full within yourself that to give it away doesn't impact you in any type of way. So pull it all back into yourself. So this natural hesitancy that is coming through this week or at this cycle within your life, whatever time it is that you're watching this video, is given to you by God not it's not fear it's just them you know saying you what you might give might not be given back in the same form that you might and it's not that it's a loss it's just you want to make sure that everything is kind of like a gain wow okay so I wasn't expecting this but I just looked over at my nature oracle I forget this card wants to come out change is coming wow I was not expecting to pull from this card, but I just saw it off in the corner. Wow. We have the ocean, changes coming, life, death, and rebirth. You guys are in a world of different hot springs. Return to the sacred. I'm also, that brings me back to being whole and holy. I also feel like things are topsy-turvy. How you are seeing the world right now, it's about to turn upside down, especially with the tower card. That's not a bad thing. That just means that you're looking at a fraction right now, like a fraction of what will be, and then it flips over, and then you can see it for what it is. Maintain hope. That's so interesting, you guys. I feel as though some, this pile, Awakening Dreams, so this pile, it feels like something has been put on dormancy is what I'm hearing. It's been dormant, laying dormant, and now things are starting to break through, things are starting to happen. While that is happening, you don't need to focus on, you know, what other, like who you're gonna let go of. It's literally spirit, the energy, the universe will take out of your life anything that doesn't serve you, but I don't even see you needing to focus on what is about to get wiped free and wiped clean from your life, because I just feel like it's not people or things that are gonna get taken away. There's aspects within them that are actually gonna like break through and have a major change. I'm actually hearing meltdown. They're gonna melt down. Meanwhile, you're, you're sitting firm in yourself if you follow what it is I'm saying, which is bringing the energy to you right now. So you're not giving anything of yourself I'm, I'm seeing people, the people that are around you, they want to give more or they want to do more, but they actually can't because they are working with their own energies of lack and remorse and discomfort. That's very rooted. It's very root, root chakra, sacral chakra. So it has to do with their self-worth, their survival. So they can't give more to you. Meanwhile, you're like, I know I deserve more. You don't have to abandon them, but they're going to have their own meltdowns. Don't allow that to bleed into what you're creating here because you are on the precipice. I don't know if that's the right word, but that's what just came through. Like you're about to have a break breakthrough. It's not painful. I feel as though you've done the work. What an interesting message. Protection. See, I said that with wearing all black. This pile, I see you wearing all black or working with black crystals, black things, because basically what black does is it, it absorbs energy so that it doesn't impact you in any way. Wow, okay. This will be really interesting to see what comes through. Wow, okay. Pope Joan, the pontiff of possibilities. The possibilities are limitless because the soul is limitless. So you realize that about yourself. But I'm also seeing you knowing who you are, you knowing what you stand for, you knowing you knowing where you're at, how you feel, and 
protecting that and standing in that and journaling it, capturing it. I'm seeing create creative activities. I'm seeing very intuitive activities. Um, I'm seeing, I don't know why, speaking engagements is coming through, people listening to you, people coming to you for advice and counsel. I don't know why, but law is coming through. So lawyers, people who people consult, um, it could be life coach, but it's really about you being of service to others, making sure that you're not getting hindered by others by being so hyper-focused on things that, you know, don't concern you. Okay, the goddess of eternal, of the eternal flame. I am an eternal flame and each day my light grows brighter. How you can do that is by giving to yourself, fostering your own growth, fostering your light and protecting yourself. If you are allowing other people to come in and drain you, then you are going to be drained. So return to the sacred hot springs. That means go to the hot spring, go to a hot bath, take a hot shower. Um, be very careful too of protecting your my mom's an acupuncture, doc acupuncture doctor and shaman, um, med medicinal healer, and she also does Western medicine, which is amazing that she's able to balance both of those wor worlds. But she always talks about the wind channels, so protecting your neck by wrapping yourself up, right, by wrapping your neck and keeping your feet um, warm with socks on, drinking warm broths, root vegetables, and those types of things to protect and to nurture your being, to protect your own light, okay? Pucker up, buttercup. Things are about to get really juicy. This is connecting back to the wind. And then also, I go where you go. I just see you as a bright light, but the way to protect that flame, to protect your light, is by focusing it on you and what you're doing. And don't let the opinions of others, don't let the energy of others to get on you. And it's almost like a leech. You don't want to allow certain leeches to, to get on your energy right now. Wow, forgiving and learning. So this is something that's so interesting because I feel like this is you automatically forgiving people from not being able to meet you where you're at. That doesn't mean that you have to toss them out or it's all a loss because Spirit is clearly saying that that's not the point. But it's about kind of releasing the expectations because people are really dealing with survival mode right now is what's coming through and I just feel like you're about to surpass that. For whatever reason, you just skim right over it. You deserve love. See what I'm saying? It's like spirit acknowledges the fact that you do deserve so much more, that there's, you know, so much more success, so much more. Spirit wants you to feel the support that is actually there, but I don't think that you're going to get it from humanity. I don't think you're going to get it from your family. I don't think you might get it from your partnerships, your relationships, your friendships. They're working with their through their shit. So all you have to do in that chaos is to make sure that you're not getting pulled by that that you're not getting swayed by that, that you're not being convinced by that because that's a lower vibration. We're not be, we're not judging them, we're not judging you or your path or anything else like that. We're just pulling the focus back on to you. Separation, wow, I could not make this up. So it's, again, separation does not mean that your partner and you or whatever, your friendships, your family are gonna split apart forever. It's just in your own protection right now that you have your black cloak on you, that you have your black clothes on you, that you have crystals that are absorbing these energies and separating you from them so that you're not absorbing it. And it might be painful or uncomfortable in the process, but if you actually look at it for what it is, you can see it as a moment of enlightenment. You can see it as a moment to connect to the support of your guides, your angels, who are speaking to you so that any, th any decision that you make is not a meaningless sacrifice. It's not something that like everything that you do, every move that you make serves a greater purpose is what's coming through. Being enough. The innermost heart says you are enough, nowhere to go, nothing to get, nothing to change, no need to grow, more deserving. You, yes, you are love. So this is what Spirit is telling you this week or this time that is that you're watching this video that legit there's people who feel like they are not enough or there might be an aspect of yourself that might believe while you're watching other people struggle with this, their own beliefs that you are not enough, but you are enough, you are whole. Everything is coming to you right now. Spirit really, there's this message of support. They want you to feel totally 
fully supported right now. Courage, the courage to stand on your own, the courage to say, I'm gonna keep going, the courage to not take on worry, the courage to trust that all is going to be well, the courage to speak up, the courage to ask for what you want, the courage to ask the universe for more for yourself and to believe that you're deserving. True offering, did I not talk about sacrifices? I literally mentioned that in the very beginning of your card pool, sacrifice, making sure that the sacrifice that you're making is worth it. True offering, may I release, so separation, may I release the fears, illusions, and addictions that keep me from true offering. May I relax into your plan, trusting that the next steps will always be shown. Use me, love. Use me for the highest. I am yours alone. That means the divine. You are stepping into your highest purpose, and you are not taking the actions, the opinions, and the movement of others or the world or humanity, internalizing it and allowing it to define you. That's what is actually being offered up is this mindset, this mentality, this modality is actually what's coming through as well. So this way of doing things, this way of being that you are no longer, you are the eternal flame, remember. So your light comes from gets even brighter by you protecting who and what you already are. Wow, what's next? Chakra clearing. Yo, that's what I'm saying with wearing the all black and the cloak and the protection. When I was at the very beginning stages of my spiritual journey, I literally wore all black every day. Now I can wear things like pink. I can wear things like white. I can wear blues and brighter colors and e even neon sometimes. But at the very beginning of my spiritual journey, all I wore, all I wrote with, was black, <laughs> black crystals, black diamonds, you name it. So chakra clearing, this is about cleansing and clearing your energy of outside entities and things that are toxic or just do not need to be a part of your energy field right now. First step, this is that first step. Ace of Swords is here, okay? It's about the willpower, the focus, the clarity, the courage in order to take that first step for yourself. It says breaking down this problem into tiny pieces makes it easier to take the first step. So that could be some guidance for someone. Patience, wow, your prayers have been heard and they are being answered. So have patience with the universe. Have patience with where you're at right now. And in the meantime, return to the sacred, return to the holy, return to what makes you whole and bathe in that and offer that up instead of carrying on your fears, carrying on emotional baggage of other people. And you will feel the support of the angels and your gut. Wow, you guys, forgiveness. Forgiveness came through for you already. So forgiveness for you is really about Look at her, she does look so impatient too. She's like, I know I deserve more than this. <laughs> and Spirit is saying, we do know that too for you as well, but right now, things are kind of, you're part of humanity too, and things are kind of evening themselves out. They're very chaotic right now. So instead of absorbing that energy and taking it personally, separate yourself from the others and realize that there is more on the horizon for you, there is more here. Maintain hope because it is revealing itself, it is making itself known. Have courage and offer up any type of blockages and baggages or fear or resistance, offer that up to the divine and keep it moving because change is literally around you right now and it all is for the best, it all is for your highest and greatest good. All right, you guys, I hope that message makes sense. Make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.